So today I wanted to clean up a little bit where I have my Luna's uh, caterpillars that had made their cocoons. And I have quite a few of them. Um, I think I counted over 40. Um, and I have three caterpillars left. We did have some that died that didn't make it, that didn't eat enough. Um, but I thought I would show you guys some of the cocoons. Let me zoom in here a little bit. So we have some that had made them in, in the leaves. And then I had taken some leaves away and found that some had made, made them right on the, the decking of our cage here. But I have quite a few of them. We still have about, I'm going to say a week and a half until they start emerging from their cocoons. So for that, you want to just put up some branches so they can climb up for their wings to dry before we can let them go. And here's a pile of them right here that I had found. I'll probably spread them out and around. But there they are. And then I just put some branches that we had in the yard. I'll zoom out here a little bit so you can see that I have them and the, the Luna moths will be able to climb up them to dry their wings and then we'll be able to let them go. I just wanted to show you guys how things were going and we're very excited for them to start hatching. There we go. Do a really close up of them, a couple of them. just one more I'll give you a good shot at there you can really see the the cocoon there and the silk that they made it's really neat so I wanted to show you guys while we were out here checking out the Luna cocoons I have three chrysalises here as well um, we had like I said the one butterfly um, hatch today and we released it um, I didn't get any pictures or videos of it. It was a girl, though. Um, but I wanted you to see the difference between a cocoon and a chrysalis. A cocoon is what moths make with silk. And then the chrysalis is what butterflies make. And I just wanted you to see what they both looked like. We just happened to have one of the chrysalis right in front of the cocoon. And that one, you can just about see his wings through the chrysalis, so he should be hatching within a couple of days. And then down here, those two are getting ready too to hatch. But I just wanted you guys to see the difference here between the two. Very interesting.